and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have the lovely Cher from Hi. Cher Jonathan and we've just done a chit chat get ready with me that'll be up on her channel yep. at some point. <laughs> we'll figure it yeah. out. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to do the five brand tag and I believe this came from Smith March. Yes I think so yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, who started and it's your top five and bottom five brands that excite you or don't excite you. Yep. So we haven't looked at each other's list yet. We just <laughs> just confused each other talking about it. But I've seen some people who only did high, like top brands. Top brands, yeah. Uh, indie. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to just do both. So yeah. some of ours are indie and some of ours are... Are not. Like are not, yeah. <laughs> They're just all the makeup brands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so this isn't any shade on any of the brands. We like all the brands. Yes. 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 We do Love like them. The it's more about if that makes us do like that double take yep. that Smith March yep. always talks about. So we're just going to compare our list quickly. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll see you top two. All right. Great. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Okay. This is surprising. <laughs> yeah. We got a, a pretty good mix. We did. We get some. Well, to be honest, I thought one of your brands. Well, we talk about your top five brands that excite you. Pinky Rose. Yes. For so long. We just talked about this new yeah. chat. I thought Pinky Rose and... And um, Ace Beauty. <laughs> were the same. I thought like Ace Beauty had come out with the Pinky Rose palettes. No. No, I don't I think so. <laughs> I need to go have a look at Maybe this. Maybe I should check before we... I'm pretty no, sure... No, I'm sure did... you're correct. And I'm sure I'm wrong. Yeah, because... No, they're, they're the same. Betty Jean uses both, so I'm sure yeah, that yeah. they're different. <laughs> but yeah, I just picked Pinky Rose because I think they have amazing colour stories. And um, especially in the exotic peacock palette with yellow oh, in there mixed with all the pinks and the purples. I love mm. it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm on the page. I'm like, oh, it's oh, that, those that one's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I just think their color stories are really fun and they intriguing. Are. And their palettes are a good size. I hate, I don't know, I'm very picky with my palettes, they do look I swear. Cool. All right, I'm going to follow and keep an eye on these. I have oh, you're already following the... <laughs> But I'm, let's check if you're following Ace Mute. I'm curious. I'm, I bet you you are. They're also really oh, fun. Oh, no, but I'm I not. Oh, you're not. So oh. there you go. That's how I got confused. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, Pinky Rose, yeah. Like, they definitely, I think yeah. their palettes are worth looking at. Yeah. I just, I don't know what the shipping is. Uh, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> how do we want to do this? Do I don't know. Work? We didn't organize this at all. <laughs> Should we zoom in a little bit? Oh, yeah. Um, well, do you want to go? <laughs> Should we go through your top yeah okay five and we've and got then... one top five that's the same <laughs> all right <laughs> should we just ping pong yeah let's ping pong ping pong all okay right. i'm so sorry <laughs> I'll, um, I'll try and edit most of that out. so um one of my top five brands and i was thinking about this for a while but i think anastasia beverly hills yeah i'm, I'm always watching them yeah uh, i think they have come out with like a lot of new exciting things yeah and like I just am obsessed with the Alyssa Edwards palette. Yeah. I did like really like the Riviera palette. I watched a lot of videos on it. Yeah, I watched a lot of and videos. And I'm glad I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> because the Alyssa Edwards palette came out so shortly afterwards. But like they excite me in the fact that yeah. I like I like I like you to watch, watch them. the video yeah. and the palette like inspires you yeah. to do things. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So Anastasia for me, definitely one. Yeah. Was... My top one I have here is Colourpop. Just because I think I know that they're always going to come out with something new and um, something different. And lately they've been coming out with some really cool things like the Disney collection. Mm. I really love that. I wanted to buy the whole thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. I spent so long. <laughs> Colourpop were thing. actually in my list yeah. for a while. But um, I said they were boring in the band oh, no. of the boring tag. And I was like, well, oh. they kind of are. But then they got me. But they are. They're, <laughs> they're always good. releasing they're like, something. Mm, they hit and miss. But I just... I always am looking forward to a new release because I know that they're going to come out with something and then there's something that I probably will like. So that excites me about them. It's amazing that they can release so many oh, new I know. things. It is crazy. crazy. Um, I have a cat here. <laughs> I do. That's so... I don't know. I got it. Yeah, got I got it. it. <laughs> One of my next ones would be Juvia's Place. Oh, that was on my list. Should I'm surprised. It yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. I love like the palettes that they do release with. The coral yeah. palette, that kind of like oh, was a bit shit. That's why I took it off. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> It looks nice, <laughs> like it was alright, but then like I was like, I'm never buying this yeah, crap, and yeah. I never got around to buying the tribe palette, which I think oh, you I, did. I, right? I, yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed it. It looks nice. It's nice, but yeah. I just I know that they're consistent, and I'm always excited to see them releasing new eyeshadows. I'm not super into foundation. No, what they've just done. I know. Mm. But it looks good. Yeah, but I and I like I watching it also. Like, I mean, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I took it off because of because of that. Yeah. But 
I yeah. felt really bad. I really love Juvia's place. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. so. Um, so my next one was Menagerie Cosmetics. I haven't bought anything from them yet, but their <laughs> packaging and everything they come out in the Wow song, I was like, yes. And then I missed no. out on it. I know, and she was going to order for both of us. I'm so sad. <laughs> we never this is. It. <laughs> it launched while I was sleeping, and then by yeah. the time I got it, it was sold out. So I know. I have been watching, like, I love their Instagram stories of them making the palette, yes, though. Yes, that was so awesome. Exciting. Yeah, definitely check out their Instagram, because um, it's really good. Their shipping. Their shipping is the highest yeah. of, like, any brand to Australia. Yeah. yeah. And I know she always, like, defends it and shows us on a UPS. Yeah. But, like, Anastasia, I just ordered from this 15 US. Yeah, 15. It's cheap. Whereas hers is like 43 US. But uh, I suppose... I think it must be her location. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that she... Like, wherever she is in US must be really far away. I can't hear you. But I think think it must just be really far away. Yeah. I don't know. But I really want to buy a few They do look amazing, yeah. yeah. I do want to try the liquid lips. They look amazing. Yes, the... uh, Is it Leo? Oh, that color looks so good. (laughs) You can't go to yours. All right. Um, My next one was a Davina Cosmetics. Yes. And I just, I'm loving all the singles that are coming out with the Exploders that they just released look amazing. Yeah. But they're the same thing. I mean, their shipping is 23 US or like, I think they're Canadian. I forget. Yeah. But I love the ones I just bought from them. They've all been really good. And it's, they're just, they release really fun singles. Oh, they want I'd love to see them too. have a palette. Yeah. I'd love to see them have a palette though. Yeah. That would be awesome. Actually, yeah. I'd probably buy a palette. Singles, I, I love them, yeah. but... Also we saw how deadly it's you are with singles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like hooking into yeah, it. Don't, I no, no, you have to watch her so video. No, no, just go watch her video and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't want. <laughs> um, but yes, Davina was almost on my list. Yeah, and so was, I would say that. So was the next one. <laughs> okay, Glam Light um, is my other one. This is a I, just... I don't even register. Really. That's it, like the burger palette and... Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. just I just find that so interesting and I love food and so mm. I really enjoy that it's like together and they look super pigmented and the colour stories do. are amazing. They do look really yeah, good. So... They look like they've got a good mix of... Um, yeah. Shadows, yeah. They look yeah. good colours. I just, I hate bulky packaging. Yeah, I don't That's like, why I don't I don't like bulky it. packaging either, but I just think it's really fun and I yeah. haven't bought anything from them, so... <laughs> Yeah. One <laughs> I don't day. Know, like, yeah, one day. All these things I am intending to buy, but I haven't yet. <laughs> and I find like because they really like the burger and then the taco. I feel yeah. like to me they mesh into one. Oh, okay. Like, Is it because they're all food? Yeah, and they all kind of seem like. I mean, they're different, yeah. and I've seen different videos on them. I but can, I can see that. Though. To me, in my like Instagram brain, they don't look that much different. Okay, that makes sense. But they're cool. Yeah, I like it. I, I, it excites me. Uh, no, I oh, just yeah. did that. It's your turn. It's my turn. Oh, Sydney Grace. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so my, I went to my fourth one. Um, Sydney Grace Co. For me is definitely one of the brands I'm always sort of watching. Yes. I, I always watch them. Yeah. Too. I haven't bought them from them in a while. Their autumn rain palette. I was like so close to buying it. I I spent weeks yeah. being like, do I buy it? Do I not? Do I buy it? Do I not? Oh, and then no. I just got sick of it. <laughs> when they bring in a palette next, we have mm, to buy yes, it. Yes. <laughs> the next palette I will buy because I'm hoping 100%. it's probably some more greens or blues. Th- their palette looked really nice <laughs> for everyday wear, but I wasn't like loving. It was a bit no- more neutral. Yeah, yeah it? it looks yeah. good. But And their eyeshadows, I've got so many of their singles and I love them. Oh, the shimmers? Yes. I haven't seen them in person until today. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, the shimmers. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm always just excited to see what they're coming out with. And I think they were like, you know, yeah. Yeah. And then the last one we have the same is Cleona Cosmetics. You say it differently to me, though. Do I? Cleona? Yeah. Cleona? Yeah. So you say Cleonde, but I say Cleona. No, no, no. They have it on their, they have it on their Instagram. Oh. On how they say it. It says it here. Cleona. Oh, yeah. Cleona. Cleona. Like how I say it. It's, yeah. I think it's... Is it I Irish? just want to pronounce the D. T-shirts. I want to pronounce <laughs> the D. But, like, the spelling and the way it's pronounced. I like, think it's like... Um, just call it Cle- Cleone. Mm-hmm. No, because I think it's like Irish where, yeah. you know, Kaylee, the um, Irish makeup artist that's like Collider. That's how it's spelled, but it's... No idea I, don't know. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, okay. okay. So it's well, Cleone. <laughs> Cleona. Cleona. Yeah. <laughs> Cleona. That's one of the brands that I'm always keeping an eye on. And you oh, me also, too. Yeah. 100%. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm pretty excited to see it once they've... Because they've just continued the... Paleo palette. Yep. The Arcaro has one more release to come. And then, and then it's discontinued. Yep. Are they going to do another palette? 
I hope so. And is it going to not be handmade? <laughs> but oh, I don't know. I just would like to see them have a more manufactured base. Yeah. But I love their shadows as they are. I the thing I love the most about clearing out is their color stories, um, mm-hmm. especially their like singles, um, the dream oh, catchers. Yeah. Did you buy? Oh, did you see the monochromes? Yeah, I saw them. They're I spent, so beautiful. I spent so long like looking online and being like, do I want them? Do, do I want them? <laughs> yes, do I, I want, want them? them? And then I was like, yes, but no. And then I'm like, oh, the shipping. And that's the biggest thing. There's so know, many of these yeah, companies are yeah. the shipping. It's because we live down under. I know. It's too expensive here. It is. I hate it. So I've always, for me, I like to wait for like a 50% off sale yeah. and then I buy them. Yeah. Like when I bought from Sydney Grace Co, they had, a, like, you got a nine, nine eyeshadows for free. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So it was like, oh, wow. this is worth it. That's so Because like the shipping. It. The shipping makes up for it. Yeah. Like it's like you spent. Yeah. yeah. So okay. they're not brands I'll ever really get the first release of. Yeah. All right. And then moving in. So we have our bottom we, five. We can start this one. Oh, I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was not even in because it's so funny. <laughs> I think I'm still getting used to your humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't laugh too much, I'll cry. <laughs> the bottom five. So we've had a look at our list. Uh, we have two companies that are the same. Two, yep. So should we do the ones that I'm aren't surprising. the same? So? Yeah, do the ones. Yeah. yeah. These are our bottom fives. This doesn't mean that we don't love the companies because no. we do love the companies. Yeah. And I own a lot of products from most, well, except for one of the companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of their products and I do enjoy them. Yeah. Um, but just they don't excite me when I look at their Instagrams. That's true. So starting up, it is for me, NYX. Which I mean, it's sad because I am obsessed I NYX. with the NYX phone liners. Yeah. But every time they release things, like even the Aquaria palette, yeah. that looks amazing. But I know it's going to be shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, yay. I'm like, I saw the yeah. palette. It was like, great. I saw it was NYX. I'm like, it's going to be shit. It, yeah. It's not going to. I think, yeah. Their colors aren't good. No. Their eyeliners are my favorite. But then they crack. I wish. Oh, oh. you know the Vivid. Yeah. But oh. no, I'm talking about oh, the, the, the faux oh, white liners. I, yeah. I They're my favorite. I but you're right. It. The Vivid yeah. Brides. I'm like, you saw my collection of Vivid Brides. So many. I did not realize <laughs> how much they crack until I it know. ruins it all. I know. I'm so. Too, like, it wasn't too bad when I did the Pokemon one. Yeah. But. By the end of it, it was it was mm. horrible. So anyway. they've got nice products; they look good, but like I just know that they're not backing it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna. <laughs> this one hurts my soul, <laughs> and it's Makeup Geek. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it hurts my soul because I, when I first started getting into makeup, I bought um all these BH Cosmetics palettes, and and I sold them just so I could get nine eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Oh, sweetest story ever and so it hurts my soul i i love makeup geek i love her formula but Mm. everything she releases is just and i don't check anymore because i just don't care but she's rebranding apparently so well i mean she doesn't even register on my radar yeah as a company anymore. i mean like i saw her like when like when drama comes out she pops up again yeah so i'm sure we'll see some we'll do like a drama i saw that she was rebranding so but i don't know it seems like a lot yeah, I just, I just wish she would like give me something. Yeah, yeah. And mm. I watched someone's video on it, and they just had like a really bad yeah. experience with her, and I was like, uh, oh, really? Yeah, I have to forward it to you. Okay, I'll well, find it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, yeah I don't even geek. check Makeup Geek. It makes me but sad. It is sad when you've got like that connection with a yeah. company that you yeah. hold on to it. And especially her pigments are really nice, but they're so mm. messy. They're like just oh, <laughs> put, on, put a sifter on it, like. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh they don't even have like the cap. The English no, ones because, don't have a cap. Yeah, but they don't. They they're like good packaging uh, where it doesn't like fly out everywhere. Right, yeah, right. that makes sense. Ugh. My next one is Benefit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, and like I love their products. I love their brow products. They're solid. And they've got their Hello Happy. They're yeah, there. yeah. They've got good looks cute. good products. And I go there like every month and make them wax my eyebrows, but. I just like every time I'm there and like yeah. they have the where you get your eyebrows waxed you're in front of the counter and the chick always tries to sell me their shit <laughs> and I'm like yeah that no nice. well one time she was like oh you have to try like this rose tint like because it's based on like the color of people's nipples and I was like that's a bit weird <laughs> why would you well, use no, that like it's like the background like it's a perfect like, nude <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it's like that burlesque thing going oh. on with it like because that's where it started yeah. and I was like I'm like, okay, like whatever. And then she put it on and it was like nothing. Oh. And that's about the benefit hula. Like we'll yeah. just talk about it. And you go watch that for like opinions on that. Mm. But they're just like, they're, they're okay. 
Yeah. And I think they're good beginner products, but they're not like, once you are, like can handle a bit of makeup. Like, I'm not saying I'm, like, amazing. But, like, I feel like I'm, like, maybe... Once you want some pigment. <laughs> yeah, once you want some pigment. Um, and, like, once you maybe move past that amateur yeah, that level, is, yeah. they're not really going to... I don't know. I, I actually don't even check their Instagram. I don't... No, either do I. I don't... Yeah. Like, I just don't... And I remember, and I remember when Bad Girl Bang came mm. out, and I was like, what the fuck, all this from a star? Yeah. Because they're, like, they had the space suit on, yeah. and I was like, oh, they're, like, classing it up. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. And it was like... No. No, it was just... Yeah. <laughs> it was. Not a bag. <laughs> yes. Not a bag, but the mascara is it's, very nice. I, I do want to try it. One day. Okay. Um, so, Urban Decay is the next one on my list, and mm. I never got the hype, ever. Not really? even for the naked... Yeah, and like, you've been like more into the makeup stuff for yeah. longer than I have, so... Not the naked palettes never got you. Not, not, not once. I never liked them, and I always thought they're boring. I started with color. I didn't start with neutrals. Isn't that oh. interesting? See, I bought a lot of neutrals because that's what like the big YouTubers yeah. were like recommending, and then I was like, I don't really like these colors. Yeah. And then I would use all the color. See, I started with color because you know back yeah. in the day, Jaclyn Hill used to do color as well. So <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now she just does the same yeah. thing, but I mean, yeah. Just watching Makeup Geek, like she always used color, so I just started with color. I don't, yeah, I didn't know anything else, and so naked parts, I'm like, oh, yeah, well, that's I interesting. Think, I don't think they're that great quality either, to be no. honest. I There's do like things, yeah, I do like the naked heat though. I've got that one, I've got naked heat, and I've got naked smoky. <laughs> um, and I, I think the electric palette's really nice. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't get the hype for that one. Oh, okay, why does everyone love it so much? I, I swatched it, and it's was like, oh, this is shit. quite bright. I don't know, is it? I nearly bought it. I remember nearly buying it and being like, meh. Yeah. I don't know, but, but I never bought it, so obviously yeah. that's saying something. I just... No, I know. I like, because <sighs> everyone's always like, the electric palette, they need to bring it back. I think I hate the layout. Yeah. I, I like it. Like, I like it more compact. So much dead space. I yeah. hate it when palettes have dead space. Yeah. Like, what's the point of that? I'm like, I don't really need a brush to come with it. Yeah. <laughs> no one needs that. Very true. But yeah, I love MDK's liners, so they, they can oh, never... Yeah. They can I've never not excite me. Yeah, I've heard good things about them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried them, but I've heard good things. <laughs> things. Yes, I like them. And I find, I find they reliable. I do, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's true. But I can see why they're boring. Like, the last thing they did was brows. Yeah. Like, I don't know. The brow See, debate. I don't even. Yeah. See, I, like, I kind of like, I'm kind of into them, so I like what. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, don't ask me. I've been not on I my radar. I think I'll always be upset about the Game of Thrones collab. Oh, actually, I did find that interesting. But I was disappointed I in so the bad. way it was executed a little bit. The launch in Australia, yeah. or like the ma- like yeah. the launch or the actual product. The launch. Yeah, the yeah, launch that so drove me insane. Me. I was on night shift that night, oh. and I wasn't sure. I hadn't seen what time they released it, and yeah. I was like up every hour, like because I was awake. Yeah. But I was just checking for it, and then they released it at seven a.m., which is when I was handing over. Yeah. And it sold out. Well, the palette was still yeah. available at seven thirty, but it was a hundred dollars. It's and I couldn't decide by the time I'd be like, yeah, I'll get it. No. It's sold out. Yeah. And I'm it's sad. such a big thing to store though as well. Yeah. My next one is Dose of Colors. I know that one was on a couple people's like it was? exciting list that I saw. I don't really get I it. I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I know like one of my friends, she does have the Dose of Colors, like the Desi, Desi. Frankation palette and she loves it. Yeah. And it looks, it nice. looks nice. It's nice. But it's got like a blue. It's yeah. like the. It's a pop of color. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to try this out, but nothing they've released, I've been like, yes, yeah. I must get it. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty much how. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Nothing about them excites me. Even like their friendcation palette. I remember watching me like, oh yeah. And then be like, mm, do I need this? No. I'm not really into this. <laughs> that's weird. I think because it gets so much hype because it's a YouTube collab and that gets you excited yeah. about it. But then other than that, like it's just makeup really. Yeah. I know. And I just, I don't think the packaging pulled me in the yeah. shimmers I just I, I, I have so many browns and browns yeah. and I've got heaps of blues like yeah I don't know yeah it never got me sense. okay and then yeah. our next two are the same next two are the same which one are you more passionate about not, not liking, liking. <laughs> I'm just gonna be Morphe I'm more passionate about not liking okay so should we mine's tart so <laughs> really? you need to <laughs> so we've both put Morphe down I like I don't mind Morphe they have some alright products. Yeah. I will forever mm. love them. I went to a Morphe store, dude. If you oh, ever go to a Morphe, yeah. like okay. in yeah, London, yeah, that's true. That's and that really good. Changed my opinion. Okay. Because it was just fun. They were so nice and welcoming yeah. and happy mm-hmm. and like cool, and it made me want to buy stuff. That's true. Um, I've had but that experience. 
<laughs> their releases are like the purple palette. Why is it so big? Stop doing that. I don't know. They could get like if you just put it in like six. No, oh, not even sixteen. What's that? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve pan palette. Yeah. It's That's like, all you need. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Sixteen. Like you know. Twelve. Sixteen. Eight. Like curate it a little bit more. No one yeah. needs that that yeah. bigger palette. Yeah. And the shadows like they're not that good. If they did that, then yeah. they could just get like the six or like twelve best That's ones. That's true. That actually work. I don't have a good experience with Morphe eyeshadows, yeah. which is why they're also on my bottom list. Is because I don't think they're that great. They're not. <laughs> and I don't get why people love that spray. I forgot. I do have the sprayers. Oh really? It's like oh my god. Just Hang on. <laughs> why do people like it? Cause it it's a it's in that aerosol can too, isn't it? I find aerosol can setting sprays weird. So sorry. So I do have that spray, and I saw someone talk about it today, and I just like. I don't really get it. I don't get it either. You want to try it? This is the spray that you like. were worried was going to scare you before. Because this one just keeps coming out, yeah. Oh, does it? Hold it down. See? Ooh. But you can't even feel it. Yes! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> <laughs> and it did nothing! It lo- your face looks the same. Yeah, it's because it doesn't, you don't feel That's why anything. they put so much on it. Whenever you see anyone in a video using it and they're like, oh yeah, Jacqueline Hill when she uses it. Because you can't feel it. Yeah. <laughs> you're waiting, you're waiting to feel it on your face and it never happens. <laughs> That's why I still use my Fix Plus is because I like the way yeah. it feels and I like the way it looks. Yes, yeah. feel is a big thing. Well, that's just, another one that's a thing on my floor. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mac get me sometimes if they're yeah, like a Latin true. release. That's true. I always like to go check out the Mac releases, okay. but I'm, yeah, I'm never, true. I don't really buy them. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same. Hmm. But yeah, okay. I don't get this. I don't yeah. get this so, at all. <laughs> more if you have some weird products. Okay, yeah. and then the last one on our both of our lists is Tarte. Oh, I, I just hate the fact that they're always neutral and they spend more time making their packaging look good than they actually do investing in the product and making that interesting yeah. it drives me insane there's a reason like i think they were oh well, yeah like because they've just released the pride palette yeah but like i just don't trust that they can do color i know and yeah. oh, their packaging always looks amazing i must admit that but that's because they spend mm. more time on it than they do on the product <laughs> no, 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 I don't know same with their brushes like the oh, flamingo no. brush. <laughs> yeah, those felt so the, What's the point? No, it's not even I interesting. It's just I nearly stupid. Bought, I nearly bought the pineapple. It was like half price at Sephora. That's the um the half one where it's like a bronzing thing or yes. yeah. I See, so. I, I don't mind that, but it like, looks pretty. Yeah, but it's watched so beautifully. I kept watching it. And yeah. It was half price, and I remember. And then I remember looking at those bloody flamingo. Are they, I don't know, They're whatever the brushes. brushes, but they feel like shit. Yeah. Like, uh, there's no weight to them. There's no, they don't feel good. It just disappoints me because yeah. they have the ability to be able to do nice parts. Like the only one that I seem to have liked so far is that, do you know the one with the glitter on the diagonal? Oh yeah, the uh, high C's? Yes, high C's. That's yeah. the only one I've but been interested in. But then it was the middle is just pressed only glitters. the middle. The middle yeah. is pressed glitters. Yeah. I swatched it because I was like, yeah, I like this one. And then I was like, it was all pressed glitters. Yeah. And I was like, F my life, I'm not touching yeah. this. <laughs> But that's the only one that looked interesting, and yeah. then like. So I think I think in a year we might find them exciting. Yeah, that's true. I think true. they're getting there. This would be good to go back to in a year, yeah. actually. Because I think they're they're gonna change up their colors. Yeah, and I'm and so I'm curious to watch them, but at the moment they're bit, like I just don't trust them. Yeah, and I think yeah. you're right. They yeah. spend more time on the packaging. Yeah, because like the way the tart toasted feels, that feels amazing. Yeah, I love that packaging. But it's just what's inside. Yeah, <laughs> right. that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Well, I think we covered it. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I had heaps of fun. That was yes, that was it was. Good. It's been so nice <laughs> hanging out with Cher today. I hope you guys yeah. have enjoyed coming along. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely do you want to um do the, like absolutely appreciate and adore you. <laughs> Thank and then you. I do. do you want to oh, do this? okay. I'm gonna kiss yeah. the video. Yeah. <laughs>